Jo, thanks for joining me today. Um, this is the Crafty Little Things channel where we do crafty little things. Um, <clears throat> um, this is day three, the final one, of my doily days. Um, if you've not seen the other two projects, I did this one yesterday and this one the day before. Um, I just had lots of these doilies from Stampin' Up hanging around um, and I never used them. So... Um, I thought it was time I did, so I decided to do a few projects using doilies. And I've also been using up um, scraps from my stash because I had quite a few. Um, I had a big clear out and I had a box of scraps that were usable sizes. So I wanted to get through some of those before I did a, a restock because there was lots of things I realised that I needed. Um, but I thought I'm not going to get new things until I've used up the things that need using. Don't like throwing things right. away. <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, so I made this little doily dress. And today I'm going to be using some scraps. It's a really, really, really simple project. I'm going to be using some scraps. And I'm going to be using the scrap from the doily that I used to make this dress. So I'm not even using a whole doily. This was yesterday and this is where I just use a whole doily to make like a, a rosette kind of um, textured layered um, effect card. So let's get started. All we need for this project is, this is a retired twine, gold twine. This is the only thing that isn't a scrap. This is, I'm going to be using that. But all we need for this one is a piece of cardstock and this is just tranquil tied and it measured six by four and I had I've got quite I always seem to end up with quite a lot of six by four pieces and I decided to make a little tiny gift box out of this one at uh, using the doily so what I've done is I've used the background bits stamp set again I used this yesterday as well but I've used that <clears throat> and I used this one and what I've done is I've white I've used white embossing powder and I've heat embossed just down the middle of these two pieces. And I've um, scored this. I scored it after, sorry, I embossed it after I'd scored it. So I scored it on the long side at half an inch, um, two and three quarter inches, three and a quarter inches and five and a half inches. And on the short side, I scored it at half an inch and three and a half inches. And then what I did, I just went ahead and used Versamark, used my embossing buddy, Versamark and some white embossing powder and then heat embossed it with my heat tool to just get this um, pattern. So <clears throat> I'm just going to burnish these score lines because I haven't done that yet. So this is going to be a really dinky little box and it's just going to flap shut and you can use it for whatever you want to use it for um, but this box did hold um, a tea light um, not a tea light, a wax melt. So I'm just going to cut up our score lines. And that's just going to make the bottom of our box. It's just going to be like this. And then decide which you want to use as the top. I'm going to use this as the top and cut away the corners of your top and then this is going to be your bottom so just cut up those corners don't cut them away now you can notch them in very slightly if you want to just going to notch all that in And likewise, you can notch these in slightly. The 
the one that flaps down I'm going to notch in a little bit more notch in a little bit more and on camera do you know I'm terrible for straying off camera so I'm just going to notch that in you don't have to notch in if you don't want to some people say it's a waste of time that's up to you what you do you're the one who's making it um, and so this is the bottom of our box so those little flaps are going to come in it's a little bit fiddly because it is a small box oh the sun's come out what a treat um, that'll glue up there and they'll glue together and then this will just come in and fold over might have to trim a little bit off the edges just to make it fold now before I do that what I want to do is I want to take these two pieces of doily which were left over from when I did the top of the dress and what I want to do is just stick those onto each side of the box there of the lid remember your lid is the one where you've removed the corner pieces so I'm just going to stick these on just about a quarter of an inch from the edge it should fit I mean it's up to you I've just you know just just use them as you see fit really and then just stick that one on there unfortunately that's not quite cut it as the centre but never mind I probably did it measured it with the other side and what you want to do is just put a little bob of glue on each of these four tabs and then bring your box base together If it won't close, you can either do it so it closes on the outside instead, or just notch in the side flaps, and then they should it should come in and close. Then there we go, and that gives you a lovely little delicate box with this lovely pattern going right the way round. Okay, now let me just see. It doesn't quite fit that candle in it, but it did have one of my own. That's a Yankee candle, mine, uh, uh, the ones I melt. The tarts I make are a little bit smaller, so they did fit in this. And then what I've done... <coughs> for the tag is I've just got a piece of green tranquil tide and, and I've just got a circle and I'm just going to take my single hole punch in a bow and tie in a bow again I mean it's only a tiny box it's only a single use box really um, you know it'd be handy for little just little I don't know little, a little trinket of some sort if you were giving it away sending it to customers thank you gift 
you could send ribbon samples in it you could send swap you know if you're doing a ribbon share or whatever you could pop them in it but it's so cute look at that how cute it is and that's using the doily and just a little bit of heat embossing use that white heat embossing i'll just zoom in so you can see how lovely that is it's just not quite in the center but it does match up and go all the way around i just think that looks the colors there are just really i like that green and the white and yeah it's just a really cute simple dinky little box finished dimensions a half an inch by three by two and a quarter so that's a really cute little doily project so i hope you enjoyed <coughs> watching that and again like i said it's a dinky project but it's a scrap project so um everything there was a scrap except for the twine so um let's get those three together here's our three projects that was day one day two and day three so three different ways to use the doily really pretty so thanks for watching and go back and watch the two if you haven't seen them and you want some ideas on how to use these lovely little doilies like i said they're only 275 for 24 from stamping up and i don't know if they're going to be in the new catalogue or not so this could be your last chance to grab some um, in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out on that. Okay.